Billy Wycliffe was a woman golf icon. A true champion in every sense of the word. She was a pillar, like the pillars of a democracy, or the pillars of a great building like the Parthenon. She was fair, she was friendly, she loved to laugh. Billy Wycliffe was a character. She just had a natural ability to draw people to her. Billy defended women's positions and their rights to play golf. She was so naturally fair. She loved the game of golf. She played it by the rules, and she wanted all women to do the same. Billy first was a competitor. She was four-time champion, and she had a profound influence on the policies of women's golf and the growth of women's golf. Galga was started because she was the Georgia State Amateur Champion, refused to defend her championship because she felt that the Georgia State Association Championship was not a true championship because it wasn't open to everyone. So she started Galga in order to include everyone, all women who wanted to play, all women who wanted to compete. And there were no restrictions at all. Uh, there were no age limitations, no race limitations, no socioeconomic limitations. Galga eventually blended into the Georgia Women's Golf Association, the GWGA. The field was opened up to public course players. Billy was a leader because she was an advocate of fairness. She had great leadership qualities, and she was a leader without forcing herself upon you. All you had to do was meet Billy, and you felt like you had known her your entire life. You knew what Billy thought, you knew you could count on her being right, and you knew she would stand beside you if you needed her. Billy was very opinionated and strong-willed and very good-hearted. If I could describe Billy uh, in one word, first I'd say crusty. <laughs> Billy was crusty. She would point out your faults. She's, uh, I wouldn't say belligerent. She would say in very direct terms, you need to be doing this. You don't need to be doing that. Come on, shape up, get with the program. But it was with all good intentions. When Billy saw something that wasn't right, you heard about it, right? then and there. And anybody who wanted to put on any pretenses or further any falsehoods or let a half-truth go by, it didn't escape Billy's attention. If there was a mission she was on, she would uh, take on that persona. I don't guess you can do it any other way. I mean, you can't smile and pass out cookies and get much done. Billy told us what we, what we should be doing. And we, we hated to disappoint her. She was very much a mentor to a lot of golfers. Uh, everybody admired her, everybody knew her. She had an amazing short game, which was always um, something to behold. <laughs> because she could get it up and down from just about anywhere throughout the whole golf course. She has won many, many, many titles. And you would never know it. If she was alive today and we had called her and said, Billy, we want you to go into the Golf Hall of Fame. You know, we've nominated you. She said, absolutely not. She was very modest and she probably, if she was here, would have said no. I think Billy is deserving of this induction because she is as worthy as anybody could be. She's thoroughly loved the game all her life. She has traveled all over the state, played in probably every tournament available. If Billy was here, I would say... Billy, you done good. Billy, I know that you say you're not deserving, but we all know that you are deserving, and we want you, you know, we are so proud of you and all the things that you've accomplished. Congratulations. You deserve all the recognition that, that you get, and that we all love you, and respect you, and I said, wish you were still here. It was a joy, a pleasure, and an education for me to have known Billy Wycliffe. Knowing her and calling her friend was one of my greatest gifts in life. Um, Billy, most deservedly, is an honorary life member of the George Women's Golf Association, and this honor is very well deserved by one of the greatest people I ever knew. She was our Hall of Famer here in Athens. Now she's Hall of Famer 
for the state of Georgia.